Athens is located about an hour and a half southeast of Columbus uh, in southeast Ohio. It's considered rural Appalachia. It is nestled in the hills right where Ohio University is and there's a lot of rock around here. I would say that bouldering, and you'll get a lot of different definitions depending who you ask, it's just sort of an offshoot of uh, sport climbing or route climbing. The act of climbing really small rocks very loudly. So basically you're just climbing really, really hard on really small holes or holes that are really far apart. Bouldering is non-roped climbing, generally rather close to the ground. Um, anywhere from five feet to sometimes kitchen feet if you're daring. So there's not much that you really do need. You need climbing shoes, um, you have crash pads to fall on, and chalk. Athens has a lot of things to offer. First of all, we have two gyms in the area. We have the Ping Center Wall, um, which is roped climbing. But then we also have Solution Rock Gym, which is a bouldering gym. This gives a lot of opportunities for people to try different types of climbing and to meet other climbers. And then once they, you know, they're interested, we have rocks within five minute drive from the center of campus. I think if you wanted to go to like the best spot in Athens, it'd be the co-ed area. It's a um, pretty concentrated section of boulders, it's um, mostly sandstone. This is located on East State Street, or right off of East State Street. The Bird's Nest um, commitment area is probably the most classic area. It's like what everyone wants to get on to climb. They're really inspiring. Um, another cool area to climb is uh, Witch's Hill. It's right next to Balm Hill, and uh, it's right across the Hocking, and up on which is there's um, which is Traverse, a couple more um, problems right in that area too. Having the gym here really makes it so everybody can keep climbing during the winter. Um, it gets just too cold to climb outside, and your fingers get numb. We can come in here. There's always new routes, unlike outside. It helps build your technique and mainly your strength. The muscles that you use climbing are really honed inside the gym. Everybody thinks we'll fall apart. And everybody's quick to point their fingers at what they think is causing a problem. What they don't see is what they want to see, my friend. It's kind of like a safe environment to practice moves that you might be uncomfortable with outside and kind of push your mental boundaries to ultimately get more comfortable and then take that outside. And we've all got to learn ourselves before we can judge someone else. Mainly, I mean, this is where you meet people, you meet your friends, and you all get to work on stuff. This is where we cultivate new climbers and old climbers. And it's a gathering place. It kind of keeps the spirit alive. You know, we want to get better at a certain type of climbing that we can't really do with boulders. We can set a route in here, work on that, and make us just better all-around climbers. I really like bouldering mostly because it's just a great workout. Um, the climbing community is a good group of people, and um, it's really fun to try to think through and figure out the moves. Um, so it's more than just a physical challenge. It's, kind of a mental challenge, trying to see if you can overcome the route and do what you can expect that you could actually get, get done. But I started climbing, I started at the Ping Center and uh, immediately just started meeting people that climbed and started hanging out with them. I invited to people's houses, they had bouldering walls constructed in their basements and I was, you know, they put their arm around me, so to speak, and I have been friends with them ever since. To climb, just because of the enjoyment of kind of all the effort you put into a route. Like as you, if you like project the route, you're trying it over and over, you can't get it. You might like, you know, like scrape your legs up, you can get hurt.
or whatever, so there's like risk into it, you might not be able to get it for days or even longer, and then eventually you come back and um, you get it. It's just a great feeling to know that you can do something. You really see like your progression. I guess I just like the movement, and the longer you do it, the more fun it becomes. The harder you can pull down, the more rewarding it is, and the more fun routes become. You know, linking moves together is, becomes amazing. And just like the freedom of movement, it's like it's as close to flying as I've ever come without actually flying in like you know a plane. I feel more like I'm flying when I'm climbing than any other time. I feel that climbing is a competition with yourself. Um, you know, in other sports, you're competing with someone else, and they directly can stop you from doing something. If you go to make a shot in basketball, someone can you know block your shot. In climbing you are competing with yourself. If you are climbing a route, whether you're in a competition or just in your spare time, if you don't make it, it's your fault. It's because you didn't have the technique for it, you, you made the wrong judgment of what move to do, or you just weren't strong enough. The guy on the ground didn't stop you from getting up there. It was, it was you. I was alone, falling free, trying my best not to forget.